Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini the Source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And we are back with another Hunter Hunter reaction. I can't wait to get back into it. But of course, before we begin, just know that I only show you a snippet of my reactions in four episodes. And then at the end of that little batch of episode reactions, I talk about the music from one of those episodes. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys definitely enjoy. And of course, if you like this content and if you see any other of the videos on this channel, definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. So you know when I drop a video every week, also, I am a music producer, so I also drop beats. Also, I have exclusive anime content and music production content. Head on over to the Patreon page and you guys can go check that out. All the links will be in the description below. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the reactions and stay tuned for the music discussion at the end. All right, fake and psyche. X, X. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let's go. I know the Phantom Troop. They got some crazy. Oh, wait. No, this is different. Oh, wait. That's uh, Kilo's sister. All right. I gotta have to pause this because I just want to make sure I'm reading this. Underground chamber where everything costs extra. That is where you will sleep. Never descend stairs that you didn't first descend. Do not compete with others at numbers. Interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, that's the fortunes that she wrote. Okay, interesting. I don't know. Or maybe they did. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Did he control him? Is that what happened? What? What? He killed all of them just like that? <laughs> just like that? What? What? <laughs> There's so much already. Wow. Okay. So, the Ten Dons hired Kilo's family, dad and grandpa. But then, Krolo hired Eloui. <laughs> wow, this is a cat and mouse game right now. Wow. I see. Interesting. The Ten Dons ordered them to come, but because they're dead, then their mission is completely useless now. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he looks intimidating. <sighs> this is... I love the way that they walked in there. Whoa. This is wild. <laughs> True? Korotopi, huh? So the auction really is going to continue. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> These people are sneaky. Wow. 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 That's a wild net ability. Okay, whoa, whoa, you already know, y'all. I'm going to go back to this. I want to just know what the name of this is. Pause. Gallery fake. Divine left hand. Demonic right hand. That's tough. That's tough, man. <laughs> 100 million automatically, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was going to say, please punch him in the face. Nah, that's not it. I know that's not it. And the reason why is because that guy, uh, I, I got to get his name right. But the one that makes the copies, he, I think he made a copy of um, 
what you would call it of Crollo here. I think that's what this that's what this is. That's that's G though. Yeah, there's no way. That that's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, all fake. Oh dang. Yeah, there's no way. They who would have killed them? Oh. I didn't expect to spend a billion dollars on some eyes. <laughs> I love that. Damn, so he's basically using her, really. That's kind of cor that's corrupt. He got the eyes, but he feels empty. I can you could just tell. Nope. Not going to happen. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So he put the eye. He used. He's using his eyes now, or the. From my mis I gotta make sure I got that right. I don't know if I got that right, guys. I just want to make sure. But I think he's using those eyes now. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> they can't drink <laughs> exactly I was just gonna ask <laughs> the Yodi is probably just like oh damn wait well wait till they know <laughs> that's still he definitely took those eyes and he replaced them Interesting. <laughs> and we know Melody's feeling whatever or is going to tell what Kurapika's feeling, which is a cool power. I love how Gun's concern is damn. I'm never going to find out. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. What a way to cut it off. That was kind of perfect. I even press anything. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so that was episode 53 of Hunter Hunter. That was really, really dope. Um, I enjoyed that episode a lot. A lot of crazy stuff going on, man. A lot of cat and mouse going on, which is very interesting. You think one thing's going to happen, but then something else happens, and the next thing happens. So it's pretty crazy. I love that little twist with the Phantom Troop. You know, basically faking their deaths uh, with that one character who basically do, uh, uses his Nen ability to make a copy. I don't know what category that would be, but that's still pretty dope. Um, so, that's really, really cool. And then obviously, what's going on with Kurapika right now. And uh, one thing I, I will say that this anime does a really good job of is you can really see the emotions of the characters. You can see when a character is really sad, and really hurting, and, you, and it's dope. And I can understand that. Kuda Pico's been, I guess, for however long he's been trying. He's been trying to defeat the Phantom Troop. He wanted to get the eyes. He wanted to avenge his family. But he feels empty because he's like, he never really did it. You know, the, Zoyld the Zol Zoldiac family did it. So he's thinking to himself, man, like, this is what I was living for. So I kind of understand that. At least that's the vibe that I'm getting. So it's pretty interesting, man. Um, but as we all know, the Phantom Troop is still alive. <laughs> so that's going to be really, really, um, it's going to be very interesting to see where this goes because, uh, you know, they really fake their death. That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough, man. Yeah. Phantom Troop is no joke, but without further ado, y'all let's hop into the next episode. Let's do it. Yo, his outfit is tough by the way. And I really like him as a villain, by the way, too. Mad random. I really like him as a villain. But anyway, onward. It's so funny how Leorio just walking with this guy who's probably way older than he is. <laughs> but then again, the other guy could be super young. <laughs> Uh, oh, is he going to actually explain the whole... Yeah. Ah, oh, fair enough. Wow. 
Hmm. Because they're friends. Oh, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I love how he's revealing all this. Hmm. Wow. Oh. I don't know if you should challenge Crollo like that. Is he about to steal his power? I love how Hisoka's always in the distance. <laughs> Never close. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, he's not gonna question it? Why is he just willingly doing this, though? You should know the leader by now. There you go. He's about to steal his power. Oh, he stole... Yeah, wow. The rainy months gather to mourn. The first move, having missed his opportunity, continues to pursue the 11th moon alone. Withers and falls to lie on the ground beside his bloody skull eyes. But the spider does not stop. Yeah, yep. Ah, uh, okay. Really? You will find eternal rest in a room filled with black merchandise. <laughs> so nonchalant. Wow, and then... Hold on, this is tough because, um, Hisoka, I wonder if he's going to still give this information to Kudapika. I saw, we saw him pull out his phone for a second, so I wonder if that's what's going to happen. Let's see. Wait until he gets that text message, though. Mmm. That's going to knock Q. Oh! I mean, Kurapika, not Kilua. Uh, yep. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Wild. Hmm. This meteor city must be. Yeah. Oh. That's interesting. Wow, 10 million? That's a lot. I love the variation of the Phantom Troop theme. That's tough. Wow. I wonder what Hisoka says. Ah... Oh. Hmm. Which already happened. That's so tough. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things are getting juicy. Things are getting juicy. Man, I love the concept of the fortunes. That is what you call some great writing, man. Great episode. I loved it because a lot of implications going on. Obviously, we saw what happened last episode and then Kuda Pika feeling very empty to him. Having this conversation with Gon, finally explaining his resolve and how he can only use his special abilities against the troops so that was pretty cool but the most interesting part of this was just the interaction with the phantom troop 
and then the fact that Krollo stole that fortune telling ability and now he's using it he used it to basically tell the fortunes of the phantom troop members very interesting man and I, I had a feeling that Hisoka's was going to be interesting because Hisoka's already kind of been the the weird outlier. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes because technically he did sell them out. Technically. But he has his own motive, right? As we all know. Because he wants to fight Krolo. That's his goal. Um, So it's going to be very... um. It's going to be interesting. It really is. It's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out, man. Wow. Very, very cool set of episodes, man. I'm digging it. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction, man. Definitely a lot to take in. I'm definitely very focused on watching everything. So, yeah. Wow, what a way to avoid. <laughs> wow. Is Hisoka going to um fight this episode? That would be pretty dope. All right, let's move on. Allies and lies. Ooh, sounds juicy. Yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> Nobunaga. Oh. Oh. Wow. How did Krolo do that? <laughs> Dang. Uh-oh. Wow. He cannot say. He cannot say. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is he really? That's interesting. Oh. That's what it is. He put a condition? Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow yep pretty much wow wow Oh, wow, what a jip. Wow. Wow. I see. Wow. <laughs> Hisoka's a G for that one, I'm not even going to lie. He is definitely a G for that one. Mm. Sorry about that. That's <laughs> a secret right now. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what his plan is. <laughs> this is going to be very interesting to see how all of this turns out. Look forward to it. Let's see Kurapika's uh, brilliant mind work right here. Yeah. I don't know if Gun's going to be able to do that, because we know what happened last time. Wait, what? What? No way. Don't do that. Oh, smart. So they don't know. That makes sense. Okay, wow. So what's... But what, what's the role? What role does he want to set? <laughs> it's kind of sneaky. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. I love the I love this variation of the theme song. That's tough. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Kilo is just like whatever. Hmm. This boss is a very calm character. <laughs> He's always like, of course there is. <laughs> oh, Kilua, don't go into the wrong building. It's gonna be over. Oh, if he goes into the wrong building, if he goes into the wrong building. Very cool, man. Wow. Very, very cool. What an interesting episode, as always, y'all. Uh, very excited. I can't wait to get into the next one. Um, but uh, before we do that, real quick, of course, I just wanted to bring up that the whole ordeal with Hisoka was pretty cool, man. I love how Hisoka's just playing this game, constantly going back and forth with the Phantom Troop on what his um, whether he betrayed them or not. Very, very interesting way about how things go. And then just the whole concept of creating the role thing with Kudapika. Um, the the fact that he he can, he can have these different abilities with the, with the chains on his finger. It's really interesting. And just the whole concept of the resolve and the fact that you have to create these rules. It's very cool, man. Very, very cool. Definitely um, one of the most unique powers I've definitely heard of in a while. But um, now that Kuda Pika is going to try to go check everything out. I mean, not Kuda Pika. Kilua. Um, I'm worried. Because Kurotopi just made duplicates. So will Kilua enter the wrong building? That will be a recipe for disaster. So with that being said, let's see what happens next episode. Ah. Okay. Kilua definitely uh, is on good. It's interesting, uh, the outfit that uh, Kuda Pika's wearing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Keep it moving. Dang. Oh. How? Wow. He was able to figure all that out? Wow. Oh, okay, okay, good. I know it's just her, but... Cool, cool stuff going on, y'all. Taking everything in. I know, Melody just knows everybody. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I never heard that word before, so that's even a new thing for me. And steep, though. Interesting. Moving basically without any sound. Huh. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this music. I'm sorry, I'm just jamming right now. Oh, this is tough. There's so much information. I'm here rocking to the music. This is tough. Okay. It's about to go wild over here. Tough. That was tough music. I would be. <laughs> Yo, what a dog. What a dog. <laughs> Wow, that dog. <laughs> that is. Yo. Yo. That is great. I love. <laughs> wow, that is so awesome. That is funny. That dog. How's Kurapika gonna do that? How's Kurapika gonna do this? There he is. Or there they are. 
Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Here they go moving. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that traffic is real. This is wild, man. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Dang, they were moving. Oh, boy. That is the leader of the Phantom Troop. What is what is gone about to do? What is gone about to do? Oh, wow! He asked him a direct question. Oh, I love the lighting effects. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, one arm done. I don't know what I would do if I was in this situation, man. This is wild. Oh, she has the ability to, uh. Yeah. I forgot about her ability. Dang, it's over for him. Oh my god. Oh, man. I had a feeling this was coming. Hmm. She got all the information. Yep. Oh. Oh. That's a tough ability. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. That was a great set of episodes, you guys. Um, thank you for watching. As always, um, I'm a little exhausted today, as, as you noticed while I was watching this, but it's all good. I think I just need to take a break from the screens. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just really excited about these next couple episodes because this is wild, man. Now that they know that Kuda Pika who Kuda Pika is, they're going to go buck wild. And of course... Hey guys, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction here. Now we're going to get into the music portion of this video and... The one thing I wanted to look at, and we're going to kind of go through, is just this whole scene with Kuda Pika's conversation with his friends. Just about his resolve and just how, um, you know, how Gon wants to help um, Kuda Pika in any way possible. It's interesting because during this kind of whole segment here, or I guess this scene, what I noticed specifically is the fact that there was so many different kinds of music being played just for this one scene if you want to call it one scene and it was different contrasting styles that's really what i wanted to show you guys today so let's get into it and the first song you're going to hear is the jazz theme now obviously i i need to look up the names of the songs for sure on the soundtrack so i'm going to really going to start to do that so i can you know make sure that i i get that that right but um if you play this I'll put the volume up just a little bit so you guys can hear it. Just enough, not too loud. As you can hear, you can hear the jazz. And I love the jazz. I'm going to assume that this jazz theme is uh, a theme for specifically for Leorio because I noticed that every time the jazz theme does play, usually Leorio is on the screen. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I love it. It's a nice, simple jazz you just want to snap to it. <laughs> yep, that, that's kind of the theme. And I, I thought it was interesting. You know, um, obviously they're having conversation. 
they, the screen kind of goes to Leorio first, and then that theme kind of plays, and uh, it kind of just have a relaxing kind of vibe. They're just having a conversation with a little bit of information being revealed, and kind of gets into that. So we're gonna kind of let this run because I'm sure that the theme will eventually change. As you can see, it kind of keeps going. And what's interesting here too is that this is the first time I actually really hear the theme kind of continue on. Because usually the theme kind of stops right here. But they continue on the phrase here. It's pretty cool. You hear saxophones, you know, just a simple swing pattern with the drums. It's really cool. Really, really cool. And then you hear that that melody again. Da -da -da -dun 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 -dun. Very, very simple melody, pretty much. Um, something that's very common in jazz music is just the swing effect, right? So basically, you, you're playing your notes as you always would, but what you do is you kind of put a little swing to it. So it's kind of like a delay in the notes in a way. So therefore, it gets that kind of lazy effect, and that's how you get, that's how jazz music kind of sounds. Jazz music is supposed to have that kind of feeling because it's supposed to sound lazy. That's what makes jazz music so unique. <laughs> All right, so now, which is cool. So now the jazz music stops, and now you get into the second piece here, which is this cool little drum effect, or I don't want to say effect, but a little cool drum pattern. This drum pattern plays quite often in this series as well and basically you just a bunch of drums kind of playing together and then um it's really cool it's just drums that's pretty much it not really much going on so to me that symbolizes just information being revealed of course and kind of just like a not really tense but like almost like as if anticipation of something that's coming and i found it interesting that the jazz music stops and then it goes right into the drums. And then what we're going to notice as you continue watching is that the music is going to change again. Pretty cool. Yeah. We're going to kind of let this rock, but I'm going to kind of pause every once in a while. But, you know, one thing about and a lot of music and a lot of shows and in anime in general is I like how the music like transitions. Sometimes you'll have a moment of silence. Sometimes you have one song right after another. In this situation, you have one song right after another. One piece after another. And I love the instruments. Now you see how it stops. So now, you don't hear anything right now. So now it's just silence. So the, the first two pieces came right at one after another. Now you're going to hear silence as they're having their conversation. About everything that's going on. With the troop, Pakunoda, and everything like that. Now, I don't know exactly the timing of this, but yeah, now you see how um, Leorio is talking about Kurapika's resolve is stronger. Now, I think there's going to be another song that's going to kind of switch the mood to emulate that kind of feeling of Kurapika's resolve. Yeah, because this is where Gun talks about the Nen Blade, right? Now, listen to this. Completely different mood. All within the span of about a few minutes or so. It's very interesting. Now all of a sudden you go from jazz music, right? You know, you hear saxophones and you hear a bass line and you hear a swing in the drums. Then you go from that. Then all of a sudden you go to just a simple just drum pattern. Nothing else going on. Just drums. You know, they're going doom, doom, doom. Nothing crazy. Then there's a slight pause. Then, after that, you go from the pause to all of a sudden you hear string instruments coming in. And this is a completely different vibe. Now listen to this. Because if you notice, you see how it gets louder and getting louder. There's a crescendo that I've talked about before. Crescendo is getting louder. The strings are playing just 16th notes. Crescendo. And then boom, silence again. <laughs> pretty interesting now i could get deep into the actual instrumentation and all that but i just but more specifically for this video i just wanted you guys to see 
the cool different transitions of the music and how they play key moments in each part of the scene. It's really interesting. Now you're going to see Leodio and then Kilo is going to leave, right? And you hear the silence again, of course. Now, one thing that's super important, and I think that it's also very underrated, is the importance of silence in anime and shows in general. Just as, as music is super important, the silence is also important because the silence also like the silence is there for a reason the silence is there because they want you to focus specifically on what's going on they want you to focus specifically on either emotion of a character a facial expression of a character or even the mood of the entire scene everything's getting tense and to me this symbolizes the fact that right now the idea is that they don't want everyone to know about the nen blade because of paku noda's nen ability right so this is a situation where now the silence is there to kind of emulate that sort of feeling. It's very interesting to me. At least that's what I feel. So let's continue on here. Now it's going to go and focus on the conversation with Gon and Kurapika. There you go. Now here you go. Another transitions. This is actually one of my favorite pieces actually in Hunter. I just love the the ambiance of this. Whenever they talk about Nen, you notice how they have this music where it's very ambient and this is kind of situation here. Pretty much just chords. Now he's going in his explanation of his Nen ability and the Nen blade. Pretty cool. The judgment chain. Yep. Really cool. And what's cool about this is that you hear these, uh, I believe these are synth instruments. You hear them kind of doing these cool little smearing effects, right? So you hear an instrument playing a note and then it'll slowly transition into the next note by slowly rising up. And that's what you hear in this. And I thought that's pretty cool. And it's all just about just the, the mysteriousness of behind Kurapika's power. Very, very cool. And what's cool here too is the fact that with this particular sound right now, you also hear uh, the same instrument just playing two notes and the two notes are kind of going back and forth with each other with different kind of um, intervals as well. Intervals pretty much is when you have two notes and it's the space between two notes. So you have one instrument playing one note and you have one instrument playing another note. So for example, you know, in a chord you have one instrument playing the first note in the scale and then the second instrument could be playing the fifth note in the scale that's the fifth interval but then all of a sudden the second instrument can now go from the fifth note to the fourth note so now that is a fourth interval etc etc so that's pretty much what that what's going on right here but i just find it interesting because once again we went from jazz to drum patterns and now you've got you, oh, then you went from the drum patterns, then you also went to uh, a string uh, melody, which was really intense. And now you go from that to a very kind of mysterious, you know, synth instrument vibe with the explanation of his Nen ability going on. All happening within a span of a couple minutes, once again. So that's really, really cool. I just love those transitions. And obviously, we, we know, you know, how, you know, important this is for Kota Pika. Now, how about that? Now you're going to hear another transition. Now you go from that, that sound and then you hear a thunder, which I thought was very interesting. You hear a thunder and the moment you hear the thunder, it transitions into another song. And this is interesting. Because this is kind of like a, a rock vibe. I love the drums. I love the bass line in this a lot. They're all playing eighth notes. Really, really cool. This is something you have not heard at all in this. So I thought it was interesting that they started playing this under this part. So I'm going to assume that this is another theme that is related to Kurapika. Of course, you guys can let me know as well. 
but it was pretty cool man i just love once again i just really thought that that transition was pretty cool especially with the thunder as well and with the scarlet eyes very cool yeah pretty dope and I think this theme fits very, very well with Kuda Pika because Kuda Pika, you know, we all know how he is at this point. You know, he wants to take down the troop so badly. And whenever he gets those Scarlet's eyes, man, he is in another world in his head. And I like the way, I like this theme for that. You know what I mean? It's, it's aggressive, but it's aggressive in a different way. You know what I mean? Because... It, it, I, it's just the intenseness, uh, the intenseness of the the rock music, and even some of the other instruments are laying on top of that, right? It's really, really cool. Yeah, I love that. I love that, and then I love how the the song, you know, kind of does this weird transition with the triplet effect going into the next phrase. I want to say triplet effect, but it, it transitioning into the next phrase. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, with all of this, um, I believe the song's gonna end right here. Okay, maybe not yet, but I love. Once again, that melody. I love that little piano. I, I don't know if it's in... Let me see if I can listen to it. There's another instrument there. Oh, it does end. I didn't necessarily hear the other instrument, but I'll always go back and listen. Cool. Nice. <laughs> and of course, we know that they were low-key listening in the background. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But... I just wanted to point this out because I thought it was pretty cool. You know, this entire scene, I'm sure it was about maybe three or four minutes long. You literally had about four to five different themes playing. And it was just interesting to hear the transition of the different moods as I heard each different song. So for you guys, you know, for you fans out there, definitely go back and listen uh, or go back and rewatch this and just listen to the music and kind of, you know, kind of pinpoint or pick it out for yourself. You know, I just think that it's really cool on, especially with this anime in particular. I love how the music transitions. I think it's one of the smoothest transitions I've seen so far. I mean, obviously there's a lot more anime I need to watch, but in terms of how the music changes consistently, it's been very, very cool. So I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was pretty interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I look forward, of course, to watching more of these episodes because uh, this anime has been pretty on point, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hey, hey, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the music analysis and the reaction. So if you want to see more of the reaction content, definitely go on the Patreon page because there I have my reactions for Hunter x Hunter as well as One Piece and a couple of other animes. So definitely go check that out. Very excited to continue forward. So I can't wait to drop next week's set of episode reactions. Of course, until next time, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. My name is Robertini DeSource and I am out.